Okay, so let's just settle into our meditation posture. So check your feet and if your legs are down in a parallel position and if you're sitting on a cushion, just make sure you're in a nice cross-legged position, just very comfortable. And we wanna make sure our pelvic bowl is um, not tipping backwards or forwards or side to side. So as much as you can have that even, so your sacrum is um, straight. And then just imagine, oh, our hands are in the meditation mudra. So the um, right hand nestled in the left and the thumbs are touching. And so just imagine that your spine is made of a string of pearls <clears throat> made of light and just uh, go, runs from the coccyx all the way up through to the crown of your head. And you can imagine there's somebody above the crown of your head, very gently lengthening, your, very gently lengthening your spine. So when, sometimes when we sit up, we feel like we need to force ourselves to sort of sit up straight. But this is just more like a, uh, it's just an organic lengthening. And as you do that, you'll notice all the muscles start to release. So if you try and force something, you can, it's just a bit harsh on the body sometimes. So just very gently lengthening, head slightly tipped forward, the eyes are down, tip the tongue on the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw. And let's just uh, go to the crown of the head and relax the scalp of the crown of the head and then move down to your forehead <clears throat> and check your eyes. You know, maybe be holding some tension in your eyes. So relax the muscles in the back of the eye. Relax your nose and your cheeks and your temples and your jaw again and your mouth and your ears. Then just go back to the crown, the back of the head and relax the back of the head and the neck and the shoulders. And if you've got some tension in your back, it's very difficult to actually release muscles in the back from this position, but you can maybe if there is some tension in the back, just be aware of it and think about just letting, letting it go. And go to the neck, relax the throat, your chest and the belly, your arms, the hands, fingers, legs, your feet. Just relax your toes. Sometimes we hold our toes, hold our feet, curl our toes in. So just let everything relax. And then go back and make sure you haven't slumped. So bring your mind to the breath. Very gently breathing in and breathing out. You'll notice the sensation of the cool air as you're breathing in and slightly warmer air as you're breathing out. Bring the mind to the breath. And if there's any sounds in your environment, try not to allow the mind to go off and investigate. When you have any thoughts arising and falling, just allow those thoughts to be there. And try not to follow the thoughts. Or to make up a story or have an opinion. And then we think we were doing this meditation this evening in the Fadrasattva in the context of the four opponent powers. And we're doing this in order to pull out all our negative karmic seeds before they ripen into suffering. And why are we doing this? So we can be of benefit to others. So just to remind ourselves that there's nothing we've done that's so awful that it can't be purified. No negativity that can't be purified. And we're using our mind here, our psychology, to purify our negative karma. So we can change our mind. We can change it from negative, from negative mind to a positive mind. And it's completely within our control to be able to do this. So just reflect back on today, the first of the four opponent powers is about regret. 
and just think sincerely regret from the depths of our heart anything we, we may have done to harm another sentient being. Whether it's accidentally stepping on a snail or some harsh words we spoke or whether we talked about someone behind their back. Even nonverbal harm. Did we write something in an email? Did we turn our back on someone out of anger? So just reflect on our day and think if there's something that we've done and we deeply regret. Think specifically again of actions of the body and the speech. And then generally anything, any harm we've done to others in our past lives or just generally things we can't remember. So just have this sense of regret, feeling sorry. And the reason regret, again, is based on the logic of karma. And we're experiencing everything due to our past karma, our past actions, the good things and bad things. So having harmed others, we are going to necessarily experience suffering in the future and we really don't want that. We know from our present suffering how we don't really want any more. So what we need to do is pull out the karmic seeds before they ripen. So we think, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech. So if you have uh, bodhisattva vows and pratamoksha vows and tantric vows, and me, I have my nun's vows. So if any of us have degenerated our vows, if we've just sort of forgotten to engage in our practices that we promised that we would do, so we regret from the depths of our heart. We'll promise, try harder tomorrow. So now, we also regret any anger and attachment and all the rest that uh, is the cause of why we harm others and we just think I'm really sick of this suffering. So whom can I turn to? So here we turn to uh, Buddha Vajrasattva and this is the power of reliance and there's two little sections. The first is refuge and the next is compassion. So for refuge, rely upon, we turn to the Buddha Vajrasattva in this case who's a doctor and he has the methods that we can use to purify and it's not that we need him to forgive us. We purify ourselves by relying upon his methods. So just visualize the uh, Guru Vajrasattva above the crown of your head, about two inches above the crown of your head. And you can imagine this being is this blissful, radiant light. And you can imagine also he's your guru, your teacher, your trusted mentor. And it's the mind of this person manifesting him themselves in this aspect for your benefit. And so, the, again, blissful radiant white light. He's sitting cross-legged on a lotus. And he's wearing these beautiful clothes, they're sort of silken clothes in the, in the um, royal Indian aspect. And they're just kind of floating. And uh, he's got this... Uh, radiant face, beautiful face, a youthful face, about the, maybe the face of about a 16 year old. And here's his lotus uh, eyes, very long and peaceful and they're full of love and compassion for you and all sentient beings. No judgment, knows everything you've done, does not care, just accepts you as you are. Here's this sweet red mouth and this uh, black hair held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right, and the left holding a bell representing wisdom. The right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion, and there being crossed represents the union of these two, symbolizing enlightenment, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. So I'll just say a wee prayer here. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened, by this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So here we come to this section on compassion. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings. So in this case, the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. 
So again, bring to mind the people that we thought about at the beginning of the session. It's people we have harmed recently or sentient beings we have harmed recently or in the past. And then general, in general, all sentient beings that we may have harmed, the ones we did intentionally and those that we didn't really know we'd harmed. And then remember those who have harmed you and you have compassion for them because the suffering that they're going to experience because of the harm that they've caused you, because of the distress they've caused you, is going to necessarily ripen into suffering for them in the future. So you feel compassion for that. So we think I must purify for their sake. Then, then we come to the third of the four opponent powers, the power of the remedy. So this is the actual medicine doing the practice of purification. So the first one we do is the purification of the body. And um, Guru Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar. And it's sort of coming quite forcefully from his heart. It sort of arcs around and it enters your crown and pours into your entire body, filling you completely. You can imagine it keeps coming and it forces out of your, the lower part of the body, the lower orifices, all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of this inky black liquid. And it pours out of you and it disappears into space, not one atom left. And don't be worried that it, it might be polluting the environment or you're breathing in all this negative energy. It disappears. The minute it leaves you, it disappears into space as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dinopatita Tiro Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Tiro Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriam guru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dura mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita Tira mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe, hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita, tira mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta mebowa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame muza vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe hum vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe om vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dira mebowa sutokaya mebowa supokaya mebowa Anarakta mebowa sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sutta me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mame mutta vajra bawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So now be totally delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. Just think how amazing is that? So next is a purification of your speech. And so again, Guru Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and arcs around and enters quite forcefully into your crown and fills your entire body. And this time it forces up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and that overflows and disappears into space 
not one atom left. So just imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and the lying and talking badly about others behind their backs, all of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you. And so we recite the mantra as we do the visualization. Om Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dina Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Safa Ahum Pe Om Vajra Safa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Safa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe So now feel so happy that your speech is completely purified and imagine now that it's not possible to do anything other than be a benefit with your speech. How amazing. So every time anyone hears you speak, all they hear is the sweet sounds of your voice and uh, that's an enormous benefit to them, makes them happy. So next is a purification of the mind. So Guru Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of laser light this time from his heart chakra and these arc around and they enter your crown chakra and fill your entire being. So just imagine as when you know when you walk into a, a room that's completely dark and you switch on a light, instantly that light dispels the darkness. So this is the way to think with this visualization. So just as the light from Guru Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart, all the darkness and the negativity of the mind, all the attachment, the neediness, the anger, depression, the bitterness, disappointment, jealousy, all instantly dispelled, not one atom left, as we recite the mantra. Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriam Kuruhum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Muta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pe 
Vajrasapasamaya <laughs> Dina Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Supokaya Mebowa, Anna Recta Mebowa, Sawa City, Mepe Yata Sawa Kama Sita May, Sitam Shriam Kuru, Hum, Ha 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 Ho, Bagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajamame, Mutta Vajabawa, Maha Samaya Satva Ah, Hum Pei, Umbajasapa Samaya, Manupalaya, Vajasapa Dina Patita, Dina Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Supokaya Mebowa, Anna recta mebowa, sava city, mempi yata sava kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, baga one, sava tata gata vajramame, mutta vajrabawa, mahasa maya sattva ah hum pe. So now be delighted, all your delusions, which are the source of our own suffering, why we harm others with our body and our speech are completely gone, purified, finished. So think that there's no space in your heart from now on other than anything, other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is we're going to purify the imprints of negativity of our body, speech and mind. So these just subtle imprints that we carry from life to life. So we want to kind of get rid of those just in case those imprints happen to come into seeds and sort of ripen as a, a nasty surprise somewhere down the track. So we're going to get rid of the imprints as well. So just this time you imagine Guru Vajrasattva is sending light and nectar together. So you can either visualize, uh, when you imagine do this, visualize the three previous visualizations for body, speech and mind. You can either visualize them at the same time, one after the other, or just if that's all too busy, just Imagine light and nectar coming from Guru Vajrasattva's heart. And it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dira Mebowa Sutokaya Mebowa Supokaya Mebowa Anarakta Mebowa Sawa Siri Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ah Hum Pe Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dira mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa siri, mempi yata sawa kama sutta me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, muta vajra bawa, maha samaya sattva ah hum pe, um vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dira mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta mebowa, sabha siddhi, mempi yata sabha kama sutta me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame muta vajra bawa, maha samaya sattva ah hum pe, om vajra sapha samaya manupalaya vajra sapha dina patita, dina mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi, mempi yata sawa kama sutta me, sitam shriam kuru hum, ha 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 ho, bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mame, mutta vajra bawa, maha samaya sattva ah hum pe, om vajra sapa samaya, manupalaya, vajra sapa dina patita, dina mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi, mempi yata sawa kama sutta me, 
Sitam Shriam Karuhum, ha 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 ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sattva Ahum Pei, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Nempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Karuhum, ha 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 ho, Bhagawan, Sava Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sattva Ahum Pei, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dira Mebawa, Sutokaya Mebawa, Supokaya Mebawa, Anarakta Mebawa, Sawa Sidi Nempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Karuhum, ha 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 ho, Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasamaya Sattva Ahum Pei, Om Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dina Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempe Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Musa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva Ahum Pei So now feel completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. So even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. So the fourth of the four opponent powers is the power of resolve. And this is a really, really crucial step. And it's the determination not to harm with our body, speech and mind again. So without this, we're going to keep doing the same old things over and over again, the same old, follow the same old negative happen, pat, patterns same or negative habits. So this determination, this aspiration to not harm again is like a beacon that guides us, it sort of gives us courage. So as long as Abhirimpache says everything exists on the tip of the wish, the aspiration. So we, if we've got something that we'd like to work on, maybe it's with our speech, as Venerable Rabina says, we don't go around killing people very often and we don't really go around bashing people up but we do do a lot of damage with our speech. And sometimes it's just habit. We can't help ourselves, it just comes pouring out. So maybe you would like to think about this idea of restraint, refraining from harming others with our speech. So perhaps we can think about if we can't, you know, I'm never gonna do this again, just maybe one minute, five seconds or overnight between, you know, eight o'clock tonight and eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Or if we have the habit to sort of have negative kind of critical thoughts coming to our mind, complaining about others in our mind, maybe we think we'll try and become aware of that and maybe just try and stop it for a minute. And then you can increase that to two minutes and three minutes and before you know what, you've kind of that neurological pathway that always complains and starts to atrophy. And then new positive pathways will start to grow inside your brain. It's actually a physical phenomenon. So this is what gives us the courage to train, that courage and the strength to change, to know that we actually can, and it is within our own power to do so. So now to conclude, Guru Vajrasattva is delighted with us. So wanting to merge with your mind, he melts into a white light and absorbs into you through your crown. You think, my Guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind, same thing. And Lama Yishi called this union oneness. So next, as Lama Zoparimashe recommends, meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma. And there is no negative karma created. So we place your mind in emptiness for a little while. So whatever level we understand emptiness. So look at all phenomena as empty. They do not exist from their own side. Think of things as dependent arisings. They have causes and conditions. You can also sort of think in this way that things don't necessarily exist the way we perceive them. And this is due to our own physical makeup, the way our body and our mind is constructed, but also due to our own psychology and our culture, the way we view things. 
So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we have created by doing this purification to all living beings. And we think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And so we'll recite some long life prayers. And I'm sorry, Mary, I'm late again. The wish granting, wish fulfilling jewels, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind, to the ghetto I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Kalamazo Parimbashe, you uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who massively accomplish magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, savior of myself and others, your disciples. Please, please live long. And to Venerable Ursel, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors for those wanderers and far off places, especially the West, mindfully of loving concern for us and intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. And for Geshe Sherab, a beloved teacher leading your students towards wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequal guide. Please have a long and stable life. And now we can all go to bed with a happy mind, except for the people in Australia who need to walk around the rest of the day with a happy mind. Thank you so much, everybody. I love doing this practice with you all. So thank you for coming and uh, lovely to see you all and sleep well. Good night. Have, have a great weekend. I don't know what anyone's doing. It's July the 4th. So happy July 4th, all the Americans here. <laughs> so Lots much. Of love. Sleep well and take care. Okay.